Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda or also known as Cozyaholic and we are back with another decor haul. This one is actually made specifically for a guest bedroom. So if you are interested in seeing the type of decor that I purchased or you are in the works of also working in your guest bedroom, then definitely keep on watching. We've never actually had a guest bedroom and then the downstairs actually used to be an office, but I never really used it and I feel like it was just taking up so much space for such like a, a you know a fairly sized room so i really wanted to kind of make it more of a functional space where we can have guests stay there and also kind of be my office so i decided to kind of shrink down my desk i sold the one that i used to have which is the world market one and i decided i want to purchase a little slimmer one that i can just put against the wall that way it works for two things so i have you know somewhat of an office and also a guest bedroom because upstairs we don't have any guest bedrooms the one that's like right up here that one is our theater room game room and then the other two rooms one is a playroom for the kids and the other one is obviously their bedroom where they sleep and stuff and then our master bed so in total we have five bedrooms and i just like i felt like there was we were just using so much space in to not have a guest bedroom when we have five bedrooms i was like that's just that's just insane like we need to have one i don't want my guests to be sleeping on the couch or on the floor or in the playroom because that's usually where they sleep we'll just do like an inflatable mattress and i'll be sleeping in the playroom so i was like okay we need to we need to do something so anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's Hop right into it so starting with home goods that is my favorite store you guys know that and i just the one thing i don't like is that i can't link these things for you guys but i feel like it's such a good way to show you guys what to look for at home goods because they just have so many good things so the first thing that i found which i think is like amazing i had to buy two of them because they were the only two that they had and i was like should i get both or should i not get both so um oh my these are so gorgeous so i got this beautiful vase it was 29.99 so 30 dollars this is gorgeous something that you would find on like pottery barn or like cb2 you would even find something like this on like studio mcgee so i just fell in love with this and not only did they have one but they had two so i had to grab both of them definitely keep your eye out for things like this and then Moving on to some other things. So I've been missing out on getting like a little tray or something. I feel like I just don't really purchase those, but they're great for styling and, and just keeping things in one place, even for coffee table styling. So I got this little tiny one. This is actually in the bathroom section. They had it on sale or marked down from $20 to $15 and it looks like this it's so beautiful i love this pattern the chevron and then it's just like normal tiling on the sides i think this is just so beautiful of course all this is going to be going in the guest bedroom but pretty much my idea is to probably have this tray maybe with like some chocolates or something and then this candle that i also bought i might as well just put it in here as well but this one i love the ombre effect that it had i just thought it was so pretty and the color at the bottom actually matches the vases so you kind of see how everything kind of ties in together it's going to be on opposite sides of the room so it's just really going to make everything come come to life but i think this is going to look so perfect to have it like this and maybe some chocolates or you know something just to kind of make the you know guests feel at home i might be going a little too like above and beyond with this but i really want to make it like its own little oasis just to feel i want to be like the best you know host that i can be so yeah, that's the reason why I picked those up. And another thing to keep an eye out at Home Goods is for wooden stuff. So this one I actually ran into, it was just like thrown somewhere, but it is beautiful. So this is just a cute little like spoon, I think. It might be a spoon holder. I'm not entirely sure, but it was $3.99 and it just looks like this. I thought this would be so perfect for even putting like some Palo Santo in here or some incense, even just like little coins or whatever, or rings. So I thought this would be so cute just to have there, even just for stacking and, and make it look really cute. So I got this guy. I thought it was adorable for $3.99. This thing is so heavy, but I went ahead and purchased some curtains as well. These were so expensive. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. I think I sat in the store for like 15 minutes staring at these curtains and I was like, do I get them or do I not get them? Like they're $70, like the amount of things I could buy with $70, but I'm buying 
a pair of curtains and that's I'm always debating that I'm just like I could get like so many things with $17 but I still got them I feel like it's really important to have some really good blackout curtains so if they are really good I'll keep them if not I'll return them but these are some blackout white curtains which is really hard to find I don't know this brand so that's why I'm just kind of like in eh about it but these were $80 <laughs> that's so much it's so expensive but they're just really pretty and I love how luxurious and heavy they look. So that's the only reason why I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for it and just see how they turn out. It just has like a little bit of a beige detailing to it. So I'm excited to kind of be able to tie everything together with that. So I picked up those curtains. Okay, and then this guy right here, I feel like these I always see at Home Goods. So if you do want something similar, I'm sure you're gonna find it. And if you don't find it at your local one, maybe try a different one. They always have these. They're always different, but I always see these in store. So this is just a picture frame that I'm gonna put above the mattress or the bed frame. And I love it because it's really coastal, which is kind of away from my usual style. But I, like I said, I want it to be its own room away from like this decor. I just make it feel like it's its own thing. So I really wanted to go for more of like a coastal vibe and this, screams coastal without all the color. So it just has a surfer and it's so pretty. If you guys can see that. This guy was, I believe $40. And I just love how pretty it is. I love that it's all, you know, black and white and not enough and not a lot of color that would like kind of mess with the rest of the decor that I want to do. So really, really love this guy and $40 I think is totally worth it. So that's everything that I purchased at Home Goods, and then now moving on to Target. So at Target, I went ahead and purchased a couple things. It was mainly like bedding stuff, which also hurts my soul because I could have used all that money for decor, but I was like, okay, I really want a guest bedroom. I just have to, I have to spend the money even though it hurts my soul. So this isn't very interesting, but I went ahead and picked up a quilt. This one was $20, which I think is great because every other quilt they have was like $60. At Home Goods, they were also like $60. I was like, I just can't see myself doing that. And quilts usually aren't like super soft. They're like, you know, they feel like cotton, but they're not like soft, if you know what I mean, or like fluffy feeling. And I really like this one, even though it's on the cheaper side, it's not entirely quilt. And I just really like this. I feel like I like the more softer feel. It just makes it feel a lot more cozier. So I picked this guy up and I actually just realized that I picked up a twin. So I'm gonna have to go exchange this for a queen, but this essentially is gonna go under the comforter duvet just to kind of add layers and make it feel a lot more cozy then i also grabbed this beautiful little basket i've been eyeing this guy for a very long time and i finally fell for it because you know i really want to have different containers different de designated spaces for things in the guest bedroom so i've been loving this guy and i'm so happy that i finally grabbed it because now i have a purpose for it but it's just the hearth and hand little basket i think it's so cute and this one was eight dollars 8.99 which i think is so worth it it's really really pretty and i think it's also going to break up all of the light colors that i'm going to have in there and inside of here i'm pretty much just going to put kind of like toiletries just stuff like self-care i think that'll be great so like in here i can put a hand lotion maybe some facial masks something just like you know like hey like you're home relax give yourself you know a makeover you know lie down it's it's okay you don't feel uncomfortable in my home i just really want to make it a place to relax you guys know that i'm all about everything being cozy and that includes making my guests feel cozy as well i love having guests over and i just don't get enough people so if you live in the area and you want to come hang out with me in my house the doors are wide open i love having people over i just don't have enough friends so <laughs> anyways um i went ahead and picked this up and then alongside that i went ahead and also got a hearth and hand hand lotion this one is the pompous one it smells amazing i love also the the amber glass that it has super pretty smells amazing so they have this one and then they also have i think it's like a wood scent if i can remember correctly yeah this smells really good it just smells super fresh almost like shower like a shower scent and i love this so much so this is just a moist moisturizing lotion and this is pretty much going to go in here like this and then again maybe some face some face masks or bath bomb then some other pillows that i got so i got this beautiful lumber pillow it's threshold and i just love the knit that it has it's really going to make it feel super cozy and i believe he was like 20 dollars, 25 dollars for this one 
And then I also grabbed these really, really big ones. They're so pretty. I looked like a maniac at Target <laughs> because I'm like standing there trying to figure out like how the pillows are gonna match. And people were seeing this, but I was constantly like doing this. I was like, is, this is chopped approved, uh, pillow shop approved. And like, it kind of is. Not entirely, but the other one that they had was a Studio McGee one, but I just didn't like it entirely. So I was like, you know what? These are fine. And they were way bigger for the same price. I think it's $30. Well, the Studio McGee one was like a tad bit smaller and not as fluffy. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do this one. But it's kind of, kind of cut approved. <laughs> but overall, I think I like it. It's really big. So I got two of these that are gonna go in the back of the bed. And then obviously like, the actual pillows are gonna go behind that. Another thing that I picked up is these beautiful white rocks. I've also been eyeing these for a while. They're only $10 and I just think they're so cute. This is just like a base filler or pretty much anything that you wanna do with it. I think what I'm gonna do is probably put it in some tray and then put a candle on top of it. I think that's gonna make it super coastal feeling and just really cute. I don't know if you guys remember. I mean, I'm kind of young for this, but I do remember my mom and my aunts doing this trend and it was a really cool trend, honestly. I dig it, but they used to put rocks in the sink, like the big, the bigger pebbles, and there was always rocks inside the sink. Honestly, I love it. It's super zen, but um, my mom used to do that, and I did it for a while as well when we first got like our first, first trailer home, but I don't know. I'm kind of digging that. If we bring it back, I'm totally for it. And next up, I picked up this throw blanket. I've also been eyeing this one for so long, and I'm really happy that I went ahead and purchased this. And I also want to mention, I know some of you guys might be like, girlfriend, you're always doing hauls. Like, where are you getting this money from? And I just want to let you guys know, this is all due to a sponsor that I'm going to be mentioning in my next video, or maybe a couple videos from now for my guest bedroom makeover. They are amazing and they've made this haul possible. So I'm just so, so grateful for them. But I just wanna let you guys know that that's the reason why I'm able to purchase these things. I'm not like just throwing money from my savings or you know, from our checking account. And I'm just so, so grateful for being able to do this and show you guys as well. And I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So thank you. And I don't wanna get all you know lovey-dovey in this video. This is supposed to be a haul, but I just wanna let you guys know. Um, but anyway, so. This throw blanket I've been eyeing for a while. It has a very nice texture to it and I love like the oat feel, if you guys know what I mean. Pretty much it just has like these cute little dots all over the place and they're so, so cute. This one is, let me see how much this was. So this is $30 and this one's gonna go in the bedroom as well. I just love this texture, it's so, Cozy, so cozy. I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna put it on the bed because like I mentioned, I have a knitted throw pillow. So this might go on the side like in a basket or something, but we'll see once I put everything together if it's gonna clash or not. But I did get this guy, which I'm really happy to open up. And then this one, actually one of my best friends purchased for me and she's amazing. She's like the best person that I've ever met. We've been friends since high school. She purchased this guy for me, which is just a little like, pastry container, what is this called? A cake stand. But yeah, so I just wanted to include it in the haul because I did get this, but I did not purchase it. It was all my bestie over there. She's amazing, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Last but not least for Target, I went ahead and just picked up a little, you know, sheet set, nothing special. I think this is like $20. It's really soft, I've had these before, and they work very, very well. And then the last thing that I wanna show you guys is these cute little clay containers. So these I picked up from a local Mexican grocery store. I know they're different all over the place here in California. So there's Soriana, there's El Super, um, Northgate, and then up here in Marietta, we have Cardenas, that's where I got these from. So just look up, you know, Mexican grocery store if you live maybe in the East Coast or somewhere else that's not the west coast, but you will definitely find these in those stores. And I just love these because I love the shape of this. And what I'm actually gonna be doing is a DIY. Hopefully it works out. I always say that I'm gonna show you guys some DIYs and, and do DIY videos, but every time I try and do them, they just don't work out. So I just don't share it in the end. I do think that this was gonna be such an easy one because it's just like the perfect shape. We're literally gonna spray paint it, probably use some chalk to distress it a little bit. And then I also wanna get some air dry clay to do a little tiny handle. I think that's gonna look so cute. I don't know if I've ever seen these. They probably do sell them, but I don't see them as often. And I don't think they're as popular, but I think it would be so cute to just have these little miniature bases. They're just so pretty. So I thought these would be really cute. They were only 
$1.50. They were two for $3. So I picked up two of them. I thought they'd be so cool to like stack on top of a book. You know, it's just a little tiny vase. And I, I just think it's going to be really cute. And that's pretty much it for this haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy this haul. I'm super excited to be sharing this bedroom makeover with you guys or guest bedroom makeover with you guys. I'm really excited. I really hope that it turns out I've never had a guest bedroom. So I'm really like, extremely excited to like have guests over and be like, this is a guest bedroom. Enjoy, relax, have a great time. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time.